John's biggest issue is he's an idiot. Jeremy just did a video at the very end of the video, and I now have the clip. He says that I deserve to have done to me what I alleged he did to my daughter. Lynette watched a What the Hales video and is now trying to get me arrested and thrown in jail. Even though she has claimed and told judges multiple now that she doesn't watch What the Hales. Hello. Ms. Preston? Yes. Cook Wait, Island. I'm in the Great Pit Island County Sheriff's Office. So what's going on tonight? Okay, Jeremy just did a, vi a video at the very end of the video, and I now have the clip. He says that I deserve to have done to me what I alleged he did to my daughter. He alleges that I made signs up saying he was my daughter. So he just told his fans that I deserve to be I thought she didn't watch What the Hales. We all know she followed us, stalked us to Otter Creek. Now let me clarify. She obviously watches What the Hales. And what I alluded to and referenced in the video was that anybody who makes a false claim against anybody else should be held to the same consequences of the individual that that claim is based against. For example, if she makes a claim that I am the Ohio rapist, and then I get arrested and I go to jail and it's found to be false, which it 100% is. She should be held to the same consequences as she made those false allegations. Legal consequences, although she's using that R word with the deputy. I never said anything about physical consequences. Nor would I ever want any individual to have to endure that with her. All right, let's go over this one more time. He, he, he made the statement that you deserve to have done to you what you alleged happened to your daughter, correct? No. All right. What I alleged he did okay. to my daughter, okay, what which he, I never, okay, what, I have, All right, I'm trying to make sure I get this straight. Is and that, I'm trying to tell you, and I know... I read your last report. Of course she did. She saw it on What the Hales. You know, that YouTube channel that she knows nothing about, doesn't watch, and definitely didn't stalk us. I know. I have never written a sign and put them anywhere in Otter Creek or anywhere else. I didn't accuse you of writing your sign. I know you didn't. I'm explaining. He wrote signs himself said I accused him of my child. So he's telling his fans. So did you notify law enforcement then about that? Of course I did. Okay. He's done it himself. Okay. He's already been to you and said I did it. He hasn't been to me. I've he's been, been to Levy County Sheriff and told them I wrote signs okay. saying that he was my daughter. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, I don't, I don't know. I've never dealt with it. So, so you got video of uh, that uh, shows that he made that accusation. Uh, being Absol right, I just, Absolutely, and it's can, scary. Can you let me finish? Yep. I will be in route from Bronson down there. I will call you them and I'll, when I get near you, so you meet me at the gate, so I can... Uh, yeah, document this. Yep, I will watch for you because I will call. You, I will call you when I get in the area. Okay. When I get to when I get to uh, Data Creek uh, you know, General Store, I will call you. He just crossed the line. He uh, just crossed the line. Miss Preston. Miss Preston. And here, I thought the line was crossed when you stalk a YouTuber that you watch and beg for money and promotion. Well, she definitely got the promotion. She's getting the money from the haters. Pretty sure a line has been crossed from the very beginning. Not to mention, she put the signs up 
And yes, I have all the reports from the forensic handwriting expert who will be giving testimony in court. I already have the reports that tell she 100% wrote the signs. I will call you when I get to Otter Creek. Right. I hope you understand I have every uh, right to uh, accept. Did I say you didn't? No, I'm just telling you, I'm, I'm, we'll talk about it when you show me the video and I can uh, you know, disseminate from there what we have. Okay. All right. I will Thank be in route. Bye. Running seventy ten ninety nine for now, one fifty one. No Miss Preston's. The deputy is on his way to Otter Creek to help Lynette. And if you'd like to help us in all of this corruption and this battle against stalkers, well, we have jumped on Whatnot, which is an live auction app that you can just have right on your phone and all of you every single one of you can get fifteen dollars now no doubt Lynette is going to try and get this fifteen dollars as well i'm sure crook will as well but don't worry they don't watch us right but they're going to try and get whatever they can from us you can get fifteen dollars to spend anywhere on the app as we join in with live auctions Almost every single day of the week, everything we find in storage units, you can now own and help us fight the corruption and the insanity that is happening across the street in Otter Creek. How are you doing, ma'am? I'm not good. It's a little scary. Yeah, I understand, but... It's here, it's here this he video. up John and now he's going to play this crap. Isn't it ironic that she's crying to judge to Thomas's, saying that there was a resolution placed before him and I would have, I would have taken it. I would have stopped it all, which she still hasn't stopped. But then, she says, Mark Feather tried to bribe her and pay her off to make all this go away in Florida. And then the judge slaps a temporary injunction on me, not based on what I've done, based on what she alleged somebody else did. If that's not insanity, I don't know what is. I can't be any more clear. She deserves the exact same consequences of what she's alleged that I have done to her daughter. I will not stop until justice is served and she stops destroying innocent people's lives. Alright. Let's play it one more time so I can get it. Just so you know, that his lawyer did okay. try to and again. Isn't it ironic that she's crying the other thing is, saying that there was a resolution placed before him, and I would have, I would have taken it. I would have stopped it all, which she still hasn't stopped. But then she says Mark Feather tried to bribe her and pay her off to make all this go away in Florida, and then the judge slaps a temporary injunction on me, not based on what I've done, based on what she alleged somebody else did. If that's not insanity, here. She deserves the exact same consequences. He publicly and to law enforcement said, and to the court in Ohio, said that I wrote signs that said he and my daughter. He did not get the TPO because of his lawyer. He got the TPO because of his own video that I played in front of the judge where he stated that his whole family was going to stand right here with AK-47s aimed at me and my property. Mm -hmm. That's why he got it. Okay. 
I wish I could find some common sense in a storage unit and maybe gift it to some people. Obviously, she has a very poor recollection of what happened. As she played the video in court, Judge Craig DeThomas has told her there is nothing illegal with what he said. Not to mention, the even reason why I said it in a live stream is because Crook stated that we bought the schoolhouse because it was going to now become a Muslim and you can take that whole word of terror and it was going to become a training ground and the whole deal all these horrific things they have said and they have done. And the judge still told her he can do whatever he wants on his property. If that was the reason there was a temporary placed on me, it would have been that day in court. And yet, it wasn't. You will not find one post, not one article, nothing that I have done to him. Anywhere, at any time, yeah. ever. All I'm taking right now is a quick video over, make sure it was audio tape properly. I've, I've documented the exact one. That's why right. I did it four to five times. Yeah. Make sure I document these exact statements. There will be a report written on that. All right? Yeah. All right. That I'm gonna, I'll head on to my next call, all right? And, and I just want to let you know something very quickly. What's that, ma'am? I know that some of you believe that we are doing things to them. I, I, I don't. I don't care. You know, I, I. I. take each individual situation as that individual situation. I do not take sides. I read the report and yeah, from when you came out here. Yep. And you said that you felt that I was doing something to get Jeremy in trouble. No, I didn't say you were doing something. I said you refused to turn your radio down. Because they, they, are, they turned theirs down, and I asked your husband to turn his down. He, he refused. Because you didn't understand. Lieutenant Anderson, Beecham, they all know. I understand that, and a that's why. Phone that they have done that's live why videos I, on. That's why I documented it. That's why everything is audio taped. Before I even show up at your house, I make sure my camera is on. And something. listen, before the deputies even left from arresting John, it was already online, all the audio. I Their mic over here picks up everything. Uh, again, I did, not, I did not arrest John. I don't know anything about John being arrested. John's been arrested. They set I, him up. I don't know anything about it. The, I'm not saying that's not the issue. The issue is that before they even left here, they already put it online. Well, because sure their mic picks up everything then, up there. To make sure John's lawyer knows that so he can uh, articulate we, we it. We have. John's going to get off on it. John did not do it. Okay, good. So, John's right. biggest issue is he's an idiot. Pretty sure she just called her soulmate an idiot. And how do you set somebody up? Everybody has the right to choose to do the right thing or the wrong thing. So even if somebody was trying to set you up, which never happened in the first place, and by the way, both individuals, adults, are at Levy County Sheriff with the state attorneys right now with the charges with Crook. So he's got one charge, he'll have two, and potentially a third with the child. He could have decided not to pull out a firearm and point it at people. He could have decided that with me. He could have decided that with everybody else he's done it to. You can't set somebody up. You can't make them do something that they don't choose to do. John's biggest issue is he's a crook. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know John personally, so I can't, you know, you couldn't make either way. I will tell you I've been with him 13 years. Well, again, well, again, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You know. You know, at times I've talked to him, you know, I don't make uh, judgments on people. I know. You know, that, that, would, know uh, that would, uh, that, that would, uh, blit, that would blittle my, uh, my thought, my way of thinking, you know, you just, I would make a pre pre presidential judgments against people and I don't do that. This night was the scariest thing I've ever heard that man say. Uh, mm, let's debunk. I know. Citizen journalist, wrong shirt. But in the court records and online, she had claimed that she had access to a members only video that I did where she stated that God told me to unalive the bad neighbors. Now, first of all, that was never said by me ever at any time. This is rug paranoia. 
would be my best guess at this point in time. So at that point, it was the scariest thing she had ever heard. And she ran down to the courthouse with absolutely no evidence because it doesn't exist. Same as this claim. It doesn't exist. She should be held to the same legal consequences as anybody, if anybody makes a false claim against anybody else. I truly believe, in the depths of my heart, that they should be held to the same legal consequences that the person they made false claims on would have been held to. That, that's right. It's documented. It'll be documented in my now report. What? He knows that. He knows that John's gone. Right, so here we are alone. This is what she's always wanted from day one. The very first thing she'll tell you when she meets you. She hates John. She wants him unalived and she wants him out of his life. So now she has parts of her wish. He's gone. He's off the property. He can't do anything to her anymore. He's in prison. You think she would be thanking the victims. Man, you have a cell phone. No, no I do now. Yeah, I you, you, I've talked to her. her. Yes, yeah. I've talked to her twice. I, I went in. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I've already talked to her twice. So she has... The you know, sheriff has my phone. But I had no choice I, but to go over and stop the service on the phone and put it here. That's fine. The sheriff took her phone as evidence. And so you understand they've got the camera footage on the phone. And what does she immediately say? Oh, I had to stop service. In her mind, most likely... Stopping service, she thinks she's not going to further incriminate Crook or herself. No, it doesn't work that way. Everything exists forever. It's the internet. It's online. If they post it and she claims, you'll never see I never did anything. And though we have thousands and thousands of screenshots of everything she's done, even a court in Ohio found her and him guilty. I got a feeling they're going to find them guilty of a whole lot more. Because I had, I have uh, a I, um, uh, I understand. Weak child. I understand. Yeah. All right. I'm going to let you go so I can go on to my next call. Okay. We're, we're, we're critically short tonight. All right. It doesn't end there. The same deputy is going back out for yet another call, which she can't let this go and brings it up again. Let's see how she incriminates herself this time. How are you doing, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. So, From the other night, we're supposed to do this. Well, that's not what we're doing tonight. Okay. Yeah. But I wanted to do a catch up. The I, I found the sign that he's that he's referring to in that video. Mm -hmm. We we got the sign that that he's alleging I made that says that that he's my daughter. So that's how we can prove that he's saying that I need to do it. Again, I'm already writing that report. I'm on to this report tonight okay. that happened in Chiefland. They're about to tell the deputy that somebody pulled a firearm out on them in Chiefland. And they're calling the deputy and they want something done? Yet they don't think it's a problem if Crook does it to people? Not just me, just to anybody, randomly. The residents of Otter Creek. Hmm. Now, it's Tyra giving testimony here. Once Tyra was off the property and on the phone with the deputies, she has already claimed that Tyra is a pathological liar, well, which I would have to say takes one to know one, right? <laughs> I mean, apples don't fall far from the tree with this lady and the people she lets on the property. And don't worry, the people that she trespassed, which wasn't even done legally correctly, they never, ever want to step foot on that property again. And nobody in their right frame of mind does. Okay, go ahead and tell me what happened. Um, I was sitting in the car with Harvey while they were all. Well, first of all, what's, what's your first name? Tyra. How you spell it? T y r a h. T i y r a h. And the uh, last name? Simon. Just like Simon said. You did did birth name? Two five zero five. 
Alright, so you were sitting in the car. And, um, I was on the phone with my brother and I realized two men were walking. So when they were walking, they stopped and they started staring at the truck. And they were looking at all the windows. And when they seen me in the back of it, one of the men lifted up their shirt and you could see a gun in their waist. And was I in a carrier or was just in their pants? And they were what, what color? What color was the gun? It's like a, it's black. I'm not too good with guns. It's that's okay. Yeah, that's black. You know, handgun, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the thing is that the sign is not documented on the, uh, that report. You know, here, that's for tonight. Yeah. I did, in that report, I did, in t talking to you, tell you that there was yes, a sign that Yes, there was said, allegedly a sign, but the sign was not mentioned, you know, so. I'll go Yep, yep. I'll, go, I'll call Beach and... Okay, you call, uh, you, 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 you call Chief so Beach, you, 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 you call Chief Beach, um, like I said before, I documented, I looked over, I watched the video five times yesterday. I'm still in the process of writing that report. I get it, but why, would, why wouldn't you want to see Fine, let me what's see it, the let me see it. Let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me see this, because it's, I don't this have anything. This is the sign that he alleges, he said, she alleges, yeah, you know, she deserves exactly what she alleges I right, did to her daughter. Right, you know, That's but, what it is. Yeah. He alleges I made that sign. You're not know, I'm 10 for thank you. That's a huge piece. Okay, all right. Now I'll get to the report, all right? Thank you very much. This report did go to the state attorney. So will I get arrested the next time I go to Otter Creek? No, I did not break any law whatsoever. As a matter of fact, what I stated was my opinion, which I legally have a right to do. There was no defamation. There was no slander. There was no anything that was inappropriate or illegal. Let's look at another call she made. Of course, she blamed me for it all about her phone even though the sheriff have her actual phone. Hello? Hi, Ms. President, sir. I'm the County Sheriff's Office. Hello. Hey, uh, how can I help you tonight? Uh, can you guys, is there any way for you to find out who's calling from a private number? Uh, no, ma'am. That's great. Um, yeah. what you can do, um, if they're blocking their number like that, um, you can set it up on your phone to block, to the, so your phone won't accept any blocked or numbers. Right. But John, John's in jail and those numbers don't come out. They come out blocked. So. Okay. But it doesn't matter. Um, it's Hales, Hales obviously put out a video tonight saying that I scammed people Sold their money and bought spider monkeys. Lovely. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, Did you hear the deputy laughing? Now, we do have to make a correction. We said spider monkey. It was a finger monkey. Regardless, we're still talking about thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars. And she's using money and putting down payments on it. And she's calling the cops and reporting it that she got scammed as she's scamming everybody else. Ironic. Pop, kettle, black. At least she thinks she's black. Yeah, she's not that either. That's another lie. I, nobody, I haven't received any donation from anyone that wasn't someone I knew. Yes, ma'am. Right. Number two, you have to have a license for spider monkeys. Right. Um, you cannot bought any monkeys, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, hey, since I got you on the phone real quick, um, that complaint the of reference where he th where uh, Jeremy Hills um, threatened your grandson Landon. Yes. Um, can I get? Do you have Landon's name? Full name. It's Landon Preston. Landon Preston. Yes. This is in reference to me stating that Landon and Waylon and Tyra were on my property trespassing, and they busted the finger, which we have on film. And so Landon claims he never did it, and Lynette claims he never did it. Of course, Landon is wearing his all-black spandex suit, which we have all the proof that he was wearing the suit, and he has the suit. So I stated if he ever trespasses and destroys my property again, I'll pop his head off, 
which I have every legal right to do. Stand your ground in Florida to a trespasser and somebody destroying my property. Lynette's trying to claim that this is a breach of the TPO, temporary injunction, okay? So now somehow because it's Landon, she thinks it's third party towards her. Uh, well, let's be real honest. I don't even think this temporary will even exist another week or two from now. Okay, um, does he reside anywhere in the area? Yes, he's right here. Okay, he lives with you? Okay. Uh, do you know, what's his date of birth? Uh, November 22nd, uh, 2005. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I needed to get that from you anyways. I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, I, I, I looked at everything I'm working on. Uh, we had some RMS issues where the correct charges had to be added. Um, so they're in now, and I'm going to be working on the sworn complaint to get that done for you, okay? Good night. Can I ask if anything happened with the one that he said that I should be with? Um, I'm not aware of that one, ma'am. I, I have no idea. It was, yeah, it was a week prior to this one. He said that I, I should get the same consequences that he, that he alleges I accused him of. Well, he says that I made signs that said, and we have the pictures of it, um, you with my daughter. Okay. So he told his fans that I need to be... I wouldn't even wish that on my worst enemy to do that to her. That would be horrific. I never said that. I know I never said that. You know I never said that. The planet knows I never said that. Was that on the same video? It was on a, a few days before few days before okay i wasn't aware of that one um yeah the deputy that took that one doesn't like us very much so okay. i don't yes think I, I don't know if another te deputy took it i couldn't tell you what's going on with it um but uh well, yeah i, I just I wanted to uh, but i am gonna i'm gonna file with state attorney on this one where he threatened to pop your grandson's head off if he came on the property um it doesn't even though it doesn't fall under the statutory uh for criminality of assault um, in the state of Florida for that. Um, it still may be a violation of the injunction, but I'm gonna, I'll, I'll file it and I'll let the state attorney decide what they're going to do with it. Well, I thank you because along with it, he alleges that he can do it because Landon's been on his property. Landon has never stepped foot on that man's property. Yeah, yes, ma'am. I mean, it, yeah, and, and that's neither here nor there, but just, just with right. the thread, I, I seen where he got and I marked down the time the time of the video and the, the, everything, so I, I was just going to okay. work on that, and I was going to file. So that should be going through uh, probably in the next couple weeks. I don't know whether they're going to still forward everything to Marion County or not. Okay. Um, yeah, so it may be, it may it may take a while, but I just want to give you a heads up that I am going to go ahead and file on that. Okay. Okay. Um, hopefully, this lady will stop calling. She hasn't called back. About a half hour, so. Yes, ma'am. Does she say um, anything when she calls, or do you just hang up? Yeah, I, I recorded her. I have her voice. I recorded her with another phone. The first time she called, she said she wanted to come and see the turtles. I said, I'm not open to the public. She said, oh, no, I want to foster, so I want to come and see them right now. Where can I come and see them? And I said, ma'am, come on, stop. I, I'm not open to the public, and I said, God bless in your body, I'm hung up. Yes, ma'am. Then she called back, and she said, um, you scammed me. You scammed me on a fundraiser. I donated to you, and you got spider monkeys. I said, I haven't scammed anyone, and if you have a problem with it, you need to take it up with the GoFundMe or the whatever it was, because we got no donations from, from anyone but friends. Yes, ma'am. So, okay. And she is not a friend. Yeah. Um, she just kept up with crap like that. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't, I don't know how they do it. What what the phone system is through the jail and stuff when uh, Mr. Cook calls you. Um, but uh, it's all right. I'll just yeah. have to hang up on him, and it, maybe it'll just be good to have him for court at a month. Okay. 
All right. Well, I'm, I'm sorry about that. That's no problem, ma'am. You have a good night. Yes, it all still goes to Marion County. And no, there are no pending charges whatsoever. Yes, everything I've done has been legal. And no, I haven't been in jail. Although Crook definitely is. You know, because his biggest problem is he's an idiot. That's not illegal for me to say either.